What's up, everyone? Adrian Morrison here, and I want to welcome you to the Profit Power Hour. Uh, we're super excited to have you all here. The uh, room is, is stocked full already, so people are piling in the room. Um, if you are here, I want to uh, welcome you. Thanks for showing up on time. Um, obviously, that's in your best interest because uh, we have now over 19,000 people registered for this webinar and only a thousand seats every week, um, you know, just simply due to uh, limitations, right? And I'm just very excited about tonight's webinar because I get to show you all some really epic conversion hacks that I think that are, are going to truly, you know, change the way that you do e-commerce and really show you how to optimize your conversions, right? That is super key, is how do I optimize my conversions? Uh, everybody should be able to see the welcome screen right now. I'm gonna try to get my webcam on. Um, last week, thankfully it worked and it's always up in the air lately. Uh, but for now, let's focus on the welcome screen. We're gonna be giving away cash money tonight. Uh, we are, uh, going to go over conversion elements tonight if you don't have a shopify store yet you can get a 14-day free trial at shopify by going to shopify.com forward slash adrian morrison that's my partner link with shopify and then on the right hand side we have our my social media make sure that you follow me check out my youtube channel um, and on the left hand side some of these tools we actually discussed last week uh, you know, these are little things that can really boost the sales on your store and boost the conversion rates. As a matter of fact, after last week's webinar, let me just see if I can get my webcam to actually show up. Let's just see if I can get it to turn on for a second here. Please work, please work, please work. Is it working? Just say yes if you could see me. Go ahead and say yes. All right, so... Uh, Sweet. All right. Looks like my camera is working for now. Um, last week, so many people messaged me and they said, Adrian, you know, you may have said that last week's webinar was basic, but for me, it changed everything. Changing the color of my button, adding some bump up cells, adding the sticky button to my website. Like these were all things that changed the game for me last week. Um, I did see one post in the group where someone said they double or tripled their conversion rate just from the tips that I gave last week. And sometimes I think that people, you know, you just don't know what it is you don't know. And on these weekly webinars, what I like to do is I like to sometimes show you more advanced strategies and sometimes show you some of our just, you know, basic strategies that we use to crush it online. And uh, some of you on here are brand new. Type in a one if you're brand new to the Profit Power Hour series. Go ahead, type in a one, 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 one. All right, so I wanna welcome you if you are new to Ecom Success Academy, my Ecom Quick Start, um, you know, uh, just to the series in general, in general, every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, we go in, we put on these webinars for you, and uh, it's a brand new, fresh training. And the idea is to make sure that you don't have to do this alone, right? and that you actually have somebody that knows what they're doing coming on and showing you new things that you can do in your e-commerce business to absolutely crush it. So uh, I'm so happy to have you all here. Just uh, bear in mind, this is not like, this Profit Power Hour series does not follow along the Ecom Success Academy program or the Ecom Quick Start program. Um, it, it's really more of a, three to four week boot camp that we do every month or so. And uh, I just, I show you three or four trainings on a specific subject matter that's relevant right now. And then we go to the next thing in the next thing in the next thing, right? So tonight, uh, what we're doing is we're going over conversion optimized pages. And some of these tools on the left-hand side of the screen uh, will help you optimize your conversion rates. And if you did not see last week's training, remember you have access to your accessadrian.com portal and you can come in here and go to the Profit Power Hour. When you click on Profit Power Hour, it's gonna pull up our free members area 
and you can go to webinar replays 2020 and you'll see last week we did a really great training and I showed you all some great strategies for optimizing your landing pages uh, for sales, right? So this is something that obviously really helped a lot of people just last week. And so you can go and watch this replay, make sure that you do that. It, it's very important uh, information. And to review what we did last week, I'm just gonna maximize this. We started talking about conversion optimized pages, okay? And um, the number one thing I recommended that you start doing is having upsells, bump upsells, okay? Now, bump upsells mean that somebody, come to, somebody comes to your website to buy a product that's $19.95, right? But when they hit your store, they see relevant products or they're presented with relevant products that say, hey, this right here would actually go really nicely with your product that you're currently purchasing and we'll give you a discount on it or this one will go nicely with it. So people inevitably do something called stack their carts, okay? So this is called stack the cart. All right, you want them to stack their cart full of products and make a purchase so you can increase your average order value, right? The average customer that comes into your store should come in and buy more stuff, right? Buy more stuff, get them to spend more money on your store. Right now, even during COVID-19, even during this pandemic, right? People are shopping online more than ever. Stores are making more money than ever. I saw one of my friends last week uh, text me a screenshot of one of his clients. I think he said it was a 57 year old lady that, uh, that got started in e-commerce and she had just pulled her first i think it was a don't I, I don't know the i hate saying numbers when i can't remember the exact number but it was over a hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars right 127 grand during the pandemic from home with e-commerce and drop shipping incredible right so right now is one of the best times to be doing e-commerce so we talk about bump up sales and the importance of, you know, propositioning your customers to buy an additional product when they get to your sales page. Uh, the second thing that we talked about was called the sticky add to cart button. Now I can't go over all this stuff again. Go watch the replay. All right. It's a new week, new training. We can't go over the old stuff from last week. All right. So it's up to you and it's your responsibility to go in and watch that. Everybody with me on that? Just say yes. Yes, yes, yes. If you understand that and you're cool with that, because I can't, you know, consistently, constantly um, go over it last week because we, we want to get to the new training. All right. So sticky add to cart buttons. And essentially what a sticky add to cart button does is whenever someone is on your Shopify store, right? So let's just say that they are over here on the sales page um, and especially if they're on a mobile phone and they're shopping for this cat necklace right here they land on this sales page all right especially if they're on a mobile phone you'll notice that my add the cart button by default is really really small right it's super small right here so uh you know people like on mobile phones believe it or not they miss it and the harder it is for them to find a buy the more likely and more quickly they're going to abandon your page. So having what's called a sticky add to cart button was a really big deal. And I showed you that on last week's webinar. So the add to cart button is stuck down here at the bottom and everywhere they scroll, they see the add to cart buttons. Everybody with me on that? Yes, yes, yes. Now, what is an upsell? An upsell is something like you see right here. We have somebody looking at a cat necklace and down here we see, hey, would you like this cat hat? <laughs> Would you like this cat harness or this cat pillow or this cat toy or maybe this other cat necklace? And we can literally just have people hit, yeah, you know what, I'll take that cat laser. I'd love to mess around with my cat. Boom. We've now just upsold them, right? Because they've added the cat toy to the product, to their shopping cart, and now they're adding the cat necklace to their shopping cart. So what we did is we just doubled the amount of money that we were generating. That's called an upsell. That's how you make the big bucks, okay? Um, I'm running a campaign right now, 
And uh, just to give you a, a quick little example, okay? My average customer that was visiting this particular sales page was spending about $60, $60. Every time they would come to the sales page, they would spend 60 bucks. Let's take it, let's just write that down, all right? So let's just do case study. All right. So case study. We were selling a product that was 60 bucks. Okay? So this product was $60-ish, okay? And some change, right? And every customer that was coming in, which was at about a 4.2% conversion rate. All right, so about a 4.2% conversion rate was purchasing this product. So that means every 100 visitors that I get, okay? So for every 100 visitors, I would sell about four products. I would get four sales, okay? And those four sales would make me about $240, okay? Everybody with me? That's what a 4%-ish conversion rate would get. Every 100 people that I visit, that I had to visit my sales page, I'd make about 240 bucks, right? All right, and remember, this was the basic way. No upsell, no uh, you know big sales button, so on and so forth. And what I did is I made a landing page optimization, right? So I made an optimization. All right, so this is an optimization for conversions, okay? And what happened was, is I added one, an upsell. All right, and that upsell was for a complementary product, a product that complemented the, the, the main product I was selling. This upsell, once added to my sales page, it, this is crazy. My average customer, the average person that visits this sales page is now spending $130. So by adding an upsell, like y'all just saw with the cat necklace, right? We went from an average sale of $60. Let me just, this average sale of 60 bucks, right? down to a average sale of 130. That's our average ticket is what I call it. How many of you in here would like to double the amount of money you make for every customer that visits your store, right? Conversion optimization. Now, moreover, we changed our buy button, right? So our buy button, we changed. What did we do to the buy button? All right, so the next conversion optimization was we made the button red, okay? Making your buy button red makes all the difference in the world, okay? The other thing that we did is we made the buy button sticky. That means anywhere people scroll on the page, the buy button floats. It stays with the page. They don't have to scroll back up to find it or anything like that. So made the buy button red, made the buy button sticky, red, psychology of colors. This took our conversion rate up uh, just a little bit. It took it up to about a little over 5%. But what we're going to say is now our conversion rate is 5%. So that means for every 100 visitors, okay? So for every 100 visitors that we get, okay? I'm now getting five sales. And those five sales equal now at not $60 because our average ticket is now $130. Remember, they're upset, we're upselling people. So the average person that comes in now out of 100 visitors, we're getting one additional sale. But because of optimization one, the upsell, right? We're now getting people to spend more money, our average ticket price has gone up.
So we would say five times 130, that's $650. So now with simple optimizations, right? The same traffic, right? This same 100 visitors right here, this 100 visitors now equals $650. Whereas without optimizations, the same 100 visitors equal $240. We're doubling our money and we're getting a little bit more in sales. That is the importance of what I'm teaching. You want to go back and you want to watch last week's case study because I showed you these two things specifically. I showed you upsells, I showed you buy buttons, right? Very important stuff. And then we talked about using coupon codes and reviews for proof. And um, I'm already in on this webinar. Uh, let's see, I'm already in. How long have I been talking? And I, I worry sometimes I talk too much. Uh, 16 minutes or so. So the other ones were coupon codes. So using different coupon codes, free shipping, email pop-ups, gamification, and then Ali reviews. Very important. Customer reviews on your store. These are all hacks that you can use on your sales page to increase your conversion rates, increase the amount of money that people are spending on your store. I mean, going from 4% of the people that visit your store purchasing to 5% is a really big deal. That could make or break your profitability on a campaign. Is everybody with me on this? Okay, let's go over another, another very important optimization. Y'all ready? Just say ready in the chat box. Just say ready, 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 ready. Okay. The next optimization that we are going to talk about is called page load speed. Page load speed. Everybody with me on this? Boring, I know, how fast does a website load? But think of it this way. Since we know that about 80% or so of the people, right? So about 80% of shoppers are mobile. They're on a mobile phone, right? We know that they're not always connected to Wi-Fi. They're connected to, you know, uh, T-Mobile, Internet, LTE, 4G, 5G, whatever it is, all right? And they're not always getting the best of service. And if your page is bloated, if your sales page is bloated with a bunch of big images that are extremely, um, extremely large files, what it does is it slows your website down, right? So 80% of shoppers are on mobile phones, and yet I guarantee it, I guarantee it, the images that you have on your Shopify store are bloated images that are weighing down your page load speed times. Now, for just a quick little example here, just some real scientific data, right? I wanna show you something real fast, okay? This is gonna be mind blowing for you. So, let's see if I can get this pulled up make it real big for you so everybody can read it because this is super important all right can everybody see this just say yes all right so according to google i think they know a thing or two about websites and conversions all right if your website speed loading time is anywhere from one to three seconds the probability of a bounce is thir it increases 32 percent what is a bounce a bounce is when somebody clicks on your ad, hits your website, and within literally a couple of seconds, dips. In other words, they split. They're, they're gone, they X out the page, because they're like, ugh, this page isn't loading. Come on, what's going on here? And they, they leave the page. Now, you've lost an opportunity. Why? Because of speed. That's why, because of speed. So if it takes even one second for your page to load, your probability of a customer leaving your page is 32%. Now, one to five seconds, the probability increases 90%. 90%? 90%? 
what is going on with the world these days? Literally, you can't wait a couple. I remember when I first started on the internet, I was uh, using American Online and you would, we were dialing up, like literally we would dial up on our landline and it would make all that weird noise that, you know, kids these days would never understand. And it would literally take like five minutes to log online, right? And literally like five minutes to load a web page. Now people can't wait five seconds, 90% increase in bounce rates in, in, in five seconds. Yeah. Six seconds, 106%. Uh, 10 seconds, the probability is 123%. How many of you in here would agree that it's probably pretty important that your page loads super duper fast? Now, this might be common knowledge to a veteran, but I guarantee you there are lots of veterans that aren't fully focused on this. And this can, one little tip, can change your conversion rates. It could change your ability to profit versus loss on the internet for any business, not just e-commerce. So this is a super, super important piece of the puzzle. So what you wanna do is you wanna increase the amount of time that it takes for your page to load. Does that make sense? Just say yes. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody with me on this? Okay. So I'm gonna show you something. So uh, I'm gonna to try to see if I could find this free tool. All right. I'm just going to Google and typing in page load speed test. All right. So I'm just typing in page load speed test. Now I'm going to come over here to, let's just grab, I don't know, uh, this gold cat necklace page. I'm going to grab this URL, come over here and just enter this in and start the test. I've never used this page before, but it's testing it, okay? So right now, it's testing it, and it's gonna tell me if I'm running fast or I'm running slow, right? And that is a really old website. It looks as terrible uh, website. My gosh, it must be really old. But there's tons and tons and tons of free uh, page load speed testers. Now, this is gonna pull back a page load speed test, and it said it takes 2.24 uh, seconds, right? The second time somebody loads it, it's waiting. Third time somebody loads it, it's waiting. So what that means is, here, here are the rest of the results, 2.24 seconds. First view, 1.9 uh, on the second test. So it takes about two seconds right now for somebody to view my page, for it to load. First time that they ever open up this sales page, it takes about two seconds for it to load. Well, it tells me here that anything over one second I have a probability of 32% uh, increase in people leaving my website. Now my website, I've, I've optimized a little bit, um, but this certainly right here is a very, very important thing. So how can you make your page faster? How can you decrease the amount of time it takes for your website to load for people, right? Well, listen, there are free apps and some of them paid, um, I'd probably, you know, uh, go with, I'm just going to show you the one that I personally have used. Uh, I thought I'm not affiliated to this. I don't get paid if you use this. I wish I did because I know you're all going to download it, but I don't. Is this app right here, it's called uh, Minifier SEO Image Optimizer, okay? So this is a little app and uh, what you could do is just quickly add this to your store. I'm going to show you how it works. So you can hit add this app to your store. Let me just pop this off, hold on real quick, I'm gonna come up, up here. Um, this can get expensive if you have a lot of, uh, a lot of sale, a lot of products on your store. And I always hesitate to show you all stuff in the app store because it's really easy to get caught up in the app store uh, and buy a bunch of stuff it's, it, that you don't need. And then you got a bunch of apps and you don't need, you're not making any money, but you got all these, these apps. So I'm not gonna sit here and say, you know, go buy a bunch of stuff, but I am gonna show you some things uh, that I typically uh, use myself, right? So let's hit add app to my store. And you're gonna see it's now logged into my gear grabber store. It's gonna add this app, install the app. So let's install that real fast. All right, <clears throat> now, Here's where they start asking you for money, even though it's a free app. So be very, very, very careful with this, okay? Very careful. 
All right, so they have auto optimization. And essentially what this does is it charges you per image. So if you have a bunch of uh, images on your Shopify store, this could be very, very, very costly. Now, um, over here they have a plan that's a penny an image. These are like tenths of a cent uh, per image, so on and so forth. And the, your first 60 images are free. So what I might do is just, just for an example, is get the free one where I can do just a, a couple of, of images. And you're gonna see right here that it immediately asks me when I hit that plan, let me just make this bigger. All right, so product images optimization. Now there's lossy and there's lossless, all right? It's very simple. Lossly will reduce the image size by up to 70%. Lossless will reduce it up to 30%. Now, very important here, you're sacrificing a small amount of image quality uh, when you do the lossy. In other words, reduce the size by 70%. So if you have super detailed products on your store where people need to see like mega detail, Maybe you don't want to do lossy, even though it says it's usually not noticeable to the human eye. Um, you want to do lossless, right? But uh, here's an example right here of the original versus the optimized. I can tell on my screen the optimized one, which is much smaller, is a little bit more grainy, a little bit more grainy. But I'm going to do that one anyways. Now we convert. We can convert all the files to JPEG. Uh, skip previously images that we optimize and optimize file names. Now what we want to do is calculate our optimization price. So what they're going to do is they're literally going through all the products that I have on the store right now. Right? I have 383 products on the store and for free so far, they're going to eventually tell me how much money it's going to cost me if I want to optimize my images. Now you can reduce the amount of images that you uh, optimize. You can do less, you can do more. Uh, this, this takes a couple of minutes to really import the images in and show you exactly how much it's gonna cost. It can get pricey at a penny per image if you have a lot of different products again. So for some of my stores, it could be hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars to optimize because I have tons of images since I do a lot of print on demand and art licensing. For, uh, for most people, it won't be very much, but here's the thing. How many of you in here would agree that it would be worth $200 on my store, mine, okay? Not a noobs, but my store. It'd be worth $200, $300 to click one button, reduce the file size of the images on my website, and double to triple the speed of which my page will load for a customer. How many of you in here would agree? That could be worth thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars in conversion optimization. So this cool app right here, it'll go through, uh, maybe we'll come back and we'll check on it later. I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch it. But what this will do is it will reduce the file size of all of the images that are on my website. Very boring but very profitable, right? It's a very profitable optimization. So what we wanna do is we wanna come over here and to optimize, we want to reduce image size, okay? Of products using the Minifier app. Now, there are other apps. You don't have to just, uh, you don't have to just use Minifier. I don't know who it is. I'm sure they're gonna love me after tonight's webinar because they're probably gonna get like 2,000 installs. Um, so if, if you're that developer and you're watching this, hit me up with like, you know, uh, maybe a discount or something for my students in the future. Um, but I do this maybe twice a year because as I add new products, I'll want to make sure that after a little while, every six months or so, I go reduce those. Now, a question was, um, if we've already done it once and we do it again, do we have to pay for all those same images over again? The answer to that is no. Uh, what we're doing is 
is we're only there's an option in that app i don't know if you saw it but we skip over any products that have already been optimized in the future so it should be very cheap in the future uh, as you probably aren't going to be adding thousands and thousands of products. You can see now we're already at 300 images collected. We'll probably be over a thousand images. So page load speed. Now, the second thing that we're going to do isn't as much a uh, conversion optimization for like changing something on your sales page, but it's really going to be a little bit more of a free traffic optimization. Don't worry, I know my board's not up, I'm pulling it up. So a free traffic optimization. How many of you in here like free traffic? I make money off free traffic all the time, all the time. I make, I've been making money off of free traffic for the longest time. As a matter of fact, let me tell you something. Um, before I started e-commerce, all right? Before I started e-commerce, I was an affiliate marketer and uh, I started doing affiliate marketing for a little DVD company called Netflix. Has anybody ever heard of Netflix before? Anybody by chance? Okay. So this is back in like 2008, 2007, uh, while they were still shipping out DVDs. And I didn't have a lot of money uh, for paid traffic. So I started with free traffic. And I started on Google and Yahoo, right? And Bing. So I was trying to get free traffic. And I did something called SEO optimization, which still works to this day. SEO optimization. So you want to SEO optimize uh, your store. Now, should you bank on this working? Absolutely not. This is like extra free money that comes in. You're probably not going to make a ton of money off of SEO optimization. But the thing about it is, is if you get search engine optimized traffic to your store, they're highly likely to buy. So even though you're not going to get a boatload of traffic from it, that traffic, it stands to reason, should convert at a higher rate. Now back to Netflix, okay? So let's talk about my Netflix case study. Netflix example. Okay. So what I did is I noticed that a lot of people that went and searched online uh, for Netflix were typing in the key term. I'll just show you real fast. As a matter of fact, people would go to Google and Netflix was sending out uh, they were sending out snail mail to people, uh, you know, physical mail saying, Hey, if you try out a free trial of Netflix, then we'll give you, we'll give you 14 days. We'll literally let you watch movies for 14 days. Go to www.netflix.com slash special offer. So www.netflix.com slash special offer. Is everybody with me on this? And so people were getting this mail saying, hey, I can get a free trial of this new company called Netflix if I just go to www.netflix.com slash special offer. And a lot of people, even still today, they go to Google and they type in website addresses instead of the URL bar. I don't know why they do that, but they do it, right? And so what I did is I SEO optimized my Netflix affiliate page to show up when people typed in netflix.com slash special offer. And because that was not a very high competitive uh, keyword, I actually ranked on the very first and second page of that specific URL, like Netflix gift card, gift code, account, whatever. And so when people would go type this in, my page would show up. And what's really funny is one of my pages is still here, ya boys on page number two. So, I mean, like, it still works. I can't believe it, but it still works. So, uh, I see one of mine here as we speak. Maybe one day I'll reveal which one it is. But that said, I started making boatloads of free money because people were going to Google searching for Netflix. And when they would type in Netflix, right, uh, .com slash special offer, 
they would end up on a page that had a, a you know a little information about what Netflix is and a link to sign up for it. Point is, I guess, is I was getting a uh, I was getting a completely free traffic source of optimized traffic from a search engine, right? So like you know this is one look at look at this. This is ugly as anything right here. But I bet you back, this one did mine, but I bet you back in the day, look, 2007, I knew it was about 2007 I was doing this because me and a couple of other guys were crushing Netflix uh, back, that Blockbuster, look at that, Blockbuster still existed, uh, <laughs> oh, that, they had an affiliate program too. Um, so back in about 2007 is when I was doing this, but it still works today, um, and you can SEO optimize your landing pages. So whenever somebody is searching on Google for owl bracelets or cat necklaces or fidget spinners or kitchenware or tactical flashlights, whatever it is, um, you have the opportunity to show up number one, number two, number three, number four, whatever it may be um, in Google, in Yahoo and in Bing. Is everybody with me on this? So what's one of the number one ways? Uh, so what's which one of these? Uh, what's one of, sorry, I got a text message. Uh, what's one of the number one ways to SEO optimize our store? Well, uh, if you come into your Shopify store, I want to show you all a little trick. What do you think people that are looking for uh, flower earrings are going to type in to Google? Do you think they might type in gold flower earrings, gold flower studs, whatever it may be? And y'all notice over here, check this out. I cannot believe I'm still on page two. That's crazy. I'm like reigning 13 years on page two, gold flower stud. I make money in places I don't even know that I make it anymore. Um, so people might uh, type in gold flower stud earrings, right? 34 million results. So remember, you know, you're, you're probably not gonna be number one tomorrow. Uh, but, you know, different locations see different first pages and second pages. And you can just see on here that, you know, there's a lot of competition for this keyword Etsy and Macy's and Bloomingdale's. Right. So there is going to be lots of competition here. Uh, and then, of course, there is the shopping tab, which you can uh, have the opportunity to show up in as well. We'll talk more about Google Shopping in the future. But how could you go in and try to SEO optimize this? without any fancy ninja stuff. Okay, it's pretty simple. You go to your uh, Shopify store and you go to where it says all products, find your products, all right, like these bloom earrings right here. Scroll down to the very, very, very bottom, very bottom. And you're gonna see where it says search engine listing preview. And you'll see right here where it says edit, and I'm gonna try to make this bigger. Uh, it says edit website SEO. Now, this is mind boggling boring to do mind boggling boring to do um but if you do it like especially for the products that are your big hitters uh as time goes on your website ages as your website ages it's more likely to get indexed in google the older your website is the more authority it has. That's why the longer your Shopify store is open, the more likely you are if you, you're you using tricks like this to get free traffic that could make you money. So you hit edit website SEO. And this is called page title, description, and URL handle. Now check this out. When somebody does see our ad on Google for free or Bing or Yahoo, uh, what's going to happen is they're going to see 14 karat bloom earrings, and then they're going to see all this gibberish, right? We can change what people see when they're on Google if our page happens to show up. You see this? Gold flower studs on Etsy. Check out our gold flower studs. How did they make it say that when Google indexed it? So we could just grab this whatever, uh, and come back over to our product. I'm gonna refresh this. I want y'all to see it from the beginning for those of you that are new. And if you do this from the beginning and you make it have it on all your products, then it might just get you free traffic in the future and, and free sales. So you click on the product, you scroll down to the very, very, very bottom. 
you're going to see a spot that says SEO. There we go. Search engine listing preview, edit website SEO. I'm going to put in this description here. I'm just going to copy what that other person had. Check out our gold flower stud selection for the very best and unique custom handmade pieces from our stud earring shop. Okay. Uh, our gold. You could even say things like yellow gold and rose gold because we have yellow gold and rose gold selections. And then uh, where it says 14 karat bloom earrings. So we want to say 14 karat gold flower bloom earrings. Check this out. Discount. Let's do this. Put it at the front. No, let's leave it at the back. So now whenever somebody happens to see uh, my website on Google, right, and they see it like for free, instead of just saying 14 karat bloom earrings or whatever, um, and some random like manually, uh, I'm sorry, automatically generated description, they're gonna see 14 karat gold flower bloom earrings. So by adding in gold, by adding in flower, what we're doing is we're increasing the chances of anybody that types in gold and flower and earrings, um, they're going to be more likely to see our SEO ad that we're creating right now. And then by having discount up here, it's going to entice people to click on us over all of these other people because they, you know, I mean, you can see here, they don't have discount or anything like that. Um, in their particular descriptions right so just i always like to use words like that so uh the second thing is your url and handles so face uh, i'm sorry google looks at page titles they look at page descriptions um and this is called metadata metadata this is hidden it's behind the scenes it doesn't show up on your sales page it is what google looks at it's in the code if you will all right. So if you you what you're doing right now is you're telling you're talking to Google. That's the best way to say it. you're saying, hey, when Google is looking for uh, pages about flower earrings and they see my website, this is what I want them to see. So they're likely to believe it to be a very relevant result. And so the URL handle gearrabber.myshopify.com slash products, you can see where it says 14 karat bloom earrings. So you could change this to be 14 karat gold flower boom, uh, bloom earrings. By adding these words with hyphens in them in the URL string, what's going to happen is you, Google is more likely if they're searching for gold flower earrings, right? They're going to see it in our page. They're going to see it in our page title. They're going to see it in our page description and they're gonna see it in our URL handle, right? And you'll notice that automatically Shopify will take care of this for us. Now, if I hit save, watch this. Product is saved. You're gonna see up here at the top where my address bar is. I know you're not gonna be able to read this, but can everybody see like uh, that something pops up as I hover? See at the top of my tab, let me see. At the top of this tab, it says, 14 karat gold flower bloom earrings uh, discount, right? So now we've told Google what to, to look for on this page and we're more likely to get indexed. So if you do this on all of your products, then you could probably pull in some free additional traffic. Is everybody with me on that? Now it's gonna take time for that, it's not guaranteed, but that's some super, super, super basic SEO, okay? Super basic SEO. Uh, so we go through, we do this, and then all of our big products eventually get indexed and start getting completely free traffic. Uh, and this has been huge, huge, huge for our business. Huge for our business. We love free traffic. We love free sales. Now, if I come back over here, by this time, we can see that uh, Minifier, going back to number one, page load speed, Minifier has found 1,309 images and they can reduce the quality uh, of these images and <laughs> they can charge us one cent, uh, <clears throat> one penny per image. And again, they're gonna offer us, do we want the 4.004 cents? Do we want the 
60 images for free? Do we want the uh, one cent, whatever? So I'm just gonna do optimize for free and they're gonna let us do 60 images. So now what's happening is I didn't, you know, cause this is a demo site. I didn't wanna spend like a lot of money on it, uh, but we're optimizing 60 different images right now. They're making the images lower quality, but to the naked eye, you wouldn't be able to tell. And it's gonna speed up our website. So we've SEO optimized a little bit and we're also reducing our page load speed. Now, if you um, couple these optimizations with last week's optimizations, as you can see, now you're going from a new beginner with a basic Shopify store to somebody who is actually putting in place different strategies to increase the amount of sales that you generate. Now, step number one is generate sales. Step number two, is optimized sales. So if you're not making sales yet, don't get, up, get caught up in doing all of these different optimizations because if you're not making sales, then you're not really optimizing anything. But on the flip, right? If you don't have a good sales page that's not conversion optimized, maybe that's the reason you're not getting sales, right? If your page load speed sucks, then and it's taking forever for people to actually load your website, then you're not gonna get sales. I would say out of all of these, page load speed is probably el numero uno. It's, it's number one, right? And any internet marketer, any expert will tell you how important page load speed is. It changes everything. So it's worth the money. Um, and if you're on a new store, here's the beautiful thing is you probably don't got 60 images on your store. You can literally optimize a new store free. So when you're starting now, why not go get an app like Minifier that I don't get paid for if you use or not. I don't know who the heck they are, where they're from, uh, what their names are, and optimize your first few products so they don't have beefy, clunky, uh, slow making images on your store and speed everything up, I promise you, you will see it's day and night. It's day and night. You might not notice it when you go to your landing page, but you will certainly notice it when you look at your conversion rates and your bounce rates. All right, so here's what it's done, all right? It's gonna go in and it's gonna show us original image versus uh, the new optimized image. Now look, this is taking us from this to this. It saved us 6%, not too much. This to this. This one saved us 72%. Look, not all images, right, will need to be fully optimized. This was already a good image. Not every image on your store sucks. But this image right here went from 382 to 106. We saved 72% size on this, right? So uh, this one, 4%, not very much. 6%, not very much. Right, so uh, not all of these will be necessary, right? So you don't have to optimize every single one of these if you don't want to. I, I was hoping in the free images it would do uh, that cat necklace that we were we did the original test on. Let me see. Let me go back over here. This is fun. Uh, 4%, 6%. Where's that one that we saved a lot on? I think it was the Baby Bunkers. Uh, that's a really old product. Um, 3%. This product right here. Okay. This one. Compare images. Okay. Cool. So what I wanna do real fast is products. Baby Bunker, please don't have a thousand examples. Okay, I've only got one, I've got this one. All right, so let's take a look at how fast this loads given the web page tester. Start test, and while that's testing, 
I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let this start optimizing our images for free. All right. So what it's doing right now is it's optimizing our images completely free, the 60 images for free. You can tell it not to optimize the ones that don't need to be optimized, but I don't want to sit here and do all that. Uh, right now, uh, it is testing. So it looks like we're at 2.3 seconds uh, for this to load right now. 2.3 seconds for it to load. All right, so this is still updating progress. So we don't know, we saved 70% of the size of the image. So uh, it would stand to reason that our load time, right, on this page would go down from 2.3 seconds. So everybody with me on this? Just say yes. Yes, I'm just now remembering, I forgot to tell you all to go into the Profit Power Hour group and tell everybody that we were getting started. But I already know some of y'all did it because y'all, we do it every week. I just jumped right into this training. Hey, I was excited. <clears throat> I was very excited about tonight's training. Uh, Cause this is like some of the techie stuff. It's simple. It's point, click, point, click. But uh, you know, this is one of those things that can really help you make a lot of additional money. SEO is just free extra money, but um, it's one of those things that uh, is boring but is to me fun because what's fun is seeing the results, right? Increasing our page load speed to me is fun because I'm gonna look at how much money I was making versus how much money I am now making. Is everybody with me on this? Just say yes, 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 yes. I'm not even gonna have time to get to the third optimization tonight, I already know that. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look, we're at 46 images. So this is how fast, in, in a couple of seconds, we'll have all these images updated uh, on the products and we'll be able to go in and we can hopefully do another page load test. So let's see where image 53, um, you can see here 2.3 seconds on this specific page. Uh, you can even watch, apparently you can watch a video of it loading. So this is what it looks like when somebody first loads the page. All right, so it took about two seconds. You wanna see that again? It took about two seconds, play, they're waiting. With, see that that white screen? You, that's what you don't want people to see. You don't want people to see that white screen right there. Oh, wait, hold on, y'all. You're seeing the page is frozen. Can everybody see this now? Yes? All right, so look, this white screen right here is exactly what you don't want to see. Watch, when I hit play, this is the test of it loading the page. That split second of white increases by 32%, I think it was, the probability of somebody just saying, I'm out, I'm gone, I'm bouncing. Believe it or not, the studies are all over the internet. That little blip right there could make or break everything in conversion rates, right? So just let's go back to our results. Uh, we were at 2.3 seconds. Uh, I imagine now that our product should be finalized, okay? That's this product right here. Let's come back over here, all products, baby bunkers. All right, now I don't know which one of these three it optimized because I have it on here three times, but let's see, maybe it'll tell us over here. Uh-huh, baby bunkers, baby bunkers, private discount, copy baby bunkers. Okay, let's see, let's just test it again. And let's see if it will give us a different result, uh, if that's the right one. I, I Honestly, I don't know which one of the three sample products it, it did, but I'm hoping it did that one. So our last one was 2.3 seconds or so, all right? So it was like, yeah, 2.305. And we've reduced, now there are various things that you can do to reduce the image reduce the uh, load speed. This is just one of them. 
So let's see the test with the renewers. Test. Let's see if it will pull it up for us. So we are testing and testing and testing. It takes a second. And let's see if it'll give us some results. All right, so uh, it's 20 seconds in. All right, so what do we do? We just on that one product, we decreased it just a little bit, right? So we went from 2.3 to 2.1. So imagine doing that across your whole website, right? Imagine, oh, actually, I'm sorry. We, we got it down to 1.97. That's not bad. So we got it down to 1.97. So we're from 2.3 to 1.97. Now, again, this is a product that doesn't even have a lot of example images on the page. You see what I'm saying? Most products will have three or four or five images where you can click around and see different products on, product views up. So this particular one, right, um, only had one image. So if this was a product that had different like angles and different variants and different views, it would have reduced all those images and it could have literally sliced our load time in half, right? So now when we come over here, let's see if we can, uh, if it'll let us, if it does the video thing, we can watch a video now. We went from 2.3 to 1.9. There's still gonna be a little white blip, but it's so much faster. Like that, that one little bit right there makes all the difference in the world now boring but it can be really sexy when you start seeing your conversion rates increase so i i wasn't able tonight to get to the third uh conversion element that i wanted to get to but how many of you in here so far would agree that this is important information it's simple information hey uh download a, a free app and reduce the file size of the images on your website especially if you're new, right? You're gonna have less than 60 images on your store if you're brand new, so you can do it free. Do it free, that's it, it's free, all right? And then the other thing was set your store up to get your get free traffic, right? Um, just by simply doing that one little simple hack that I showed you that can set you up, not overnight, but over time to get free traffic. Take it from someone who has made tens of thousands of dollars from free SEO traffic. Now, I'm not gonna lie, man, I, 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 I trash talk SEO all the time. You're gonna, if you look back traditionally at videos at me, uh, if you go, if you go to my YouTube channel even, uh, I don't know if there's videos on here, but uh, where specifically where I say that, but if you come over here to my YouTube channel, then, and you watch some of these videos, I guarantee you will see me trash talking SEO somewhere. Because a lot of people say, oh, you're gonna get rich and you're gonna get uh, make all this money using SEO. No, you're not, you're not going to, it's just not gonna happen. But can you make extra money with SEO? Yeah, you can. Could you make an extra couple hundred dollars a week? Yeah, you could easily, right? If you really get it well and oiled and you, SEO it up. Uh, you're honestly your time's better invested, like majority of your time, with paid traffic, right? But SEO is great because over time it just gives you free money if you get indexed on the first page of Google and you do what I said, and that's one of the first and simplest and most basic ways to do SEO. All right, and then increase your page loads. I mean, reduce your page load speed time. Uh, and this is just webpagetest.org. The next thing I want to talk to you about, which I think we'll talk about next week, is your domain name and staying on brand. Real quick question. How many of you in here use Bitly? B-I-T dot L-Y. Use this free link shortening service. Um, it's called Bitly. This is it right here. B-I-T dot L-Y. Uh, legitimately, you come in here and you say, you know, I want to promote uh, these baby bunkers, but I don't want to send people to this ugly long URL. So what I want to do is I want to create a short uh, and, and sexy URL. Well, you can do that by putting the URL down here at the bottom and hit shorten. 
and they will give you, I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. This little link right here, bit.ly 2C2DMN. Does everybody see that? I'm gonna zoom in. <clears throat> that right there. Now this link right here, if I put it in my browser, takes me right here. So that link is gonna take me to this page. Cool, right? Problem is, is that spammers use Bitly uh, and it actually gonna hurt your Facebook ads in many, many cases to be using a service like Bitly that's so widely used. How many of you in here would like to see another way to shorten your links in your Facebook ads, get tracking, uh, but keep it on brand? Like it would be so much better if people were clicking on deals.geargrabber.com phishing, free.geargrabber.com slash phishing, freedeals.geargrabber.com go. How many of you in here would agree? That's the third thing I wanted to show you tonight. Uh, don't have time for it. So next week, what I'm going to do is show you that that branding optimization uh, with, for congruency. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you that third hack that I use that gives me control over my Facebook ads. It allows me to use branded links that look good, that increase trust, that actually make my ads perform better. If Facebook sees that you're using a website address that is widely used by spammers, sometimes it can make your traffic cost more, right? And it could reduce the amount of reach that ad gets until it's proven over time. So again, these are the little things that a lot of you don't know, that a lot of people don't talk about, that I, I know because I've done you know, tens of millions of dollars through Facebook ads and, uh, you know, and online, and, I understand advertising. So I'm gonna show you some of these real conversion hacks, like real things that can make you, not just to try to sell you an app or something like that, but real things that if you implement will help your landing pages and sales pages generate more sales and generate more customers. Tonight I recommended you an app, I don't even know whose app it is. You know, I mean, I could develop it myself, but I've got enough apps to manage as it is. I don't wanna build any more right now. I've got two in production and it's a full-time job, right? So uh, it makes sense to show you just the one that I use on my own store. It's called Minifier, uh, it's sick. Don't get caught up in the app store buying a bunch of junk. Just go grab an app that can minify images and uh, you know, minify those images and, and increase the speed load time. Um, and I mean, reduce the speed load time, duh. And just see if it helps your conversion rates. Simple as that, everybody got it? Cool, and we'll talk about branding congruency next week. We're gonna talk about how do you have a Facebook ad that's on brand, that doesn't use an ugly link that people are gonna see on your fan page, on your Instagram, in your bio, all that stuff. How do you get a link that builds trust and gets cheaper traffic from Facebook and doesn't get bad brand reputation? A lot of people are scared to click on bit.ly links because oftentimes they know that they're spam and their viruses and all sorts of stuff. So next week, that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that uh, hack. So I know that y'all are gonna be excited about that. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be cool, all right? So that's it for tonight. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump in the Facebook group and I'm gonna find somebody. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find somebody that posted in the Facebook group. What I want you to do now is since I didn't say go, uh, you know, at the beginning, go in and <clears throat> post in the Facebook group what we're gonna do, I want you to leave feedback. Go in the Facebook group right now, okay? At facebook.com slash group slash profit ph. Go in there right now and leave feedback, all right? Don't go, oh, epic tonight. Leave real feedback. Did you like tonight's webinar? Did you learn a lot from it? Are you gonna execute? Are you going to actually use the things that I taught you tonight? Do you feel like it got value? Do you think it could help you break through and break out of the, the rut that you're currently in? Leave me honest, real feedback. A couple of sentences, okay? Go do that right now at facebook.com slash group slash profit ph in our Facebook group. And in about 10 minutes, what I'll do is I will choose a completely random winner that leaves feedback, okay? And do not, do not dare think that you have to leave positive feedback in order to win. 
if you thought tonight's uh, webinar sucked, I want you to say, Adrian, tonight's webinar sucked. I appreciate your efforts, but it sucked, okay? I don't become a better mentor to you if you're blowing smoke, right? Uh, I become a better mentor when I know that what I'm doing is what you need, right? So I, I, I value you and rely on your feedback. I also want to congratulate, uh, I want to congratulate uh, Joel. Uh, he made this post two days ago and he just hit a new milestone. He hit $1,000 so far this month. I've been watching Joel. Uh, I think he's messaged me once or twice on Instagram um, and uh, I've been watching him scale up. Then we got, uh, we got uh, Su Suhav Husman. Uh, who says, up until this moment, I thought that there was no way for me to actually be successful and make good money off drop shipping. And I thought everyone who is making sales is paying extra for some sort of tool that does everything, but I was wrong. I just got my first sale. I'm super excited. Thanks at Adrian Morrison uh, for the course. So, you know, it, from $1,000 to your first $44, I'm proud of you all every single person that executes. I am proud of you. Every single person that is trying and really trying to build your business, I am so, so proud of you, even if you haven't got your first sale yet. But if you do have your first sale, go in our Facebook group, um, just like this student did, and post it. Say, I got my first sale. I'm excited. And uh, a, a quick little sneak peek pre preview, um, if I can get this to pull up real fast, because uh, I, I mentioned this a while back and I, I'm, I uh, never got around to it because look, you know, life hit me, COVID hit and there's all sorts of stuff going on in the world and it's, it, it slowed down my business a little bit, like in terms of my production of getting stuff done for you guys. Um, some of the bonus things that I, that I wanted to get done for you, but I'm putting together a success student program. It's completely free. It's gonna reward you for sharing your success. Um, and uh, I just got my student success wall um, page done. It's not fully completed yet, but I'm just gonna quickly show you all this new page. I'll be releasing. So let me just pull this up real fast. So this is a new page that I'm gonna be releasing uh, pretty soon and it's gonna we have a couple of tiers of clubs that we're gonna release our uh, 10k club our 50k club our 100k club and our 1m club now I haven't filled in what the perks of this is gonna be but we're gonna be giving people some really big perks uh, for hitting these levels we'll be posting your student success stories uh, we'll be shipping out swag so you'll be getting uh, M swag once you hit certain levels. So I want you to post your first sale, your first G, your first 10K, 100K, 50K. Uh, the 1M club is gonna be nutso. All right, we have people that have already hit it. So um, I, I'm gonna be releasing this soon. Uh, just stay tuned, like this is just, you know, the, the, the page is in the making um, as we speak. So there's your boy smiling right there. Um, so this is gonna be really exciting and it's gonna be fun. Um, there's going to be different levels to it, and I'm just going to give you free free stuff, right, for posting your success and sharing your success because that motivates others to succeed. So I'm very, very excited about that. I'm excited for the students that are coming in and making their post, uh, like Lacey right here, uh, Lacey uh, Zlatner, uh, got our first four sales uh, tracked in Pixel Magic. Um, so we just have so many students in here. Uh, MJV Jones, $319 uh, back at e-com after giving it a rest for a little while, already making sales again. So I want to congratulate you all. A lot of you have been going through my e-com success program, my e-com quick start program. Some of you in here, you know, um, are really making moves. And that's what I like to see. When you make moves and you post those moves, you get help and you get congratulated. So I love you all. I wish you a ton of success. I'll see you next week, same place, same time, on the Profit Power Hour, 9 p.m. EST. In about 10 minutes, I'm gonna give away some money to people who leave feedback in the Facebook group. So I'm gonna choose one random winner and give away some money. And remember this, if you're new, you might have people telling you that you can't do this, that it's a scam, that it's not real, that it's BS, that you can't make money online. You know, uh, go to, go to 
school and get in debt and go get a nine to five job and climb the corporate ladder and you know work your way up and build somebody else's empire um, and let them benefit from the sweat off of your back and control your livelihood, control your financial freedom, control your time freedom, control your ability to truly be free as a person and enjoy your time, which is very short on this planet. They're gonna tell you to do that, but they're full of crap. Every single person that tells you to do that is a BSer. And you wanna know why? They are scared that you are going to do something that they were not able to do. That's what it is. They're either scared or they're stupid. They're one of the two. So to be nice, let's just say they're scared that you're gonna do something that they never had the guts to do. And nothing feels better, nothing feels better than doing it and going back to them and say, I told you so. Now let me show you how you can do it as well, right? It's so cool. It gives me chills just thinking about it. And I want you to know that even though you have those negative people in your life, every Tuesday night, you got your boy, AM right here, and I believe in you, I care about you, I want you to succeed, and I'm willing to invest my time in you every week just like this, to motivate you, inspire you, teach you, train you, help you, and uh, help you manifest your own success in this amazing space, during this amazing time, amongst all the negativity that's going on right now, and uh, I'm always here for you, and so is the group on the Profit Power Hour. That's what this is all about, not my success. I've already been there, done that. This is about your success, and I want to be the guy that helps you get there, all right? I love you. I'll see you in the group. I'm going to give away some money pretty soon. Be on this webinar next week because next week is going to be insane. It's going to be nuts when I show you this third conversion uh, hack, this, this congruency hack, if you will. It's going to be nuts. So, all right? So I'll see you all in the group, um, and uh, hope you enjoyed tonight's webinar, and I look forward to reading your feedback. Good night, y'all. Stay healthy.